You don't uh, take your shirt off anywhere. You don't really go swimming. You don't really do a lot of the things that, that other guys do. These photos aren't of girls, but of boys whose breasts have grown abnormally large. It's a condition called gynecomastia that is not only physically bizarre, but also psychologically devastating. I was really pretty brutalized in junior high school. My nickname was Tits, and uh, I was, uh, the girls offered me their bras. Teenagers are terrible to start with, but then you get something that you know, takes a guy and makes him into a girl, uh, at least as far as they see it. Uh, you know, it's just, they just go crazy with it. Let me change my shirt. The hit television series Seinfeld went crazy with it during this 1995 episode in which Kramer, after seeing George's father without a shirt, fitted him with a man's ear. Eventually, they tried to market it. Yeah, but I prefer the bro. I like man's ear. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, it's a very interesting idea. Yeah. This was the first time many people ever gave any thought to man boobs. <laughs> While they were, in fact, making fun of the situation, it did bring light to it. In retrospect, was that a good thing? I actually do think it was. The more that this is talked about, even in a humorous way, and it's often the fodder for comics and late night and, and comedy clubs, and uh, the more that it's discussed and the more that it's brought out into the light, the better. Merle Yost, on his website, gynecomastia.org, outlines the causes of the condition. Usually it stems from an imbalance in testosterone and estrogen. Sometimes it's the result of excessive weight loss, and it can be attributed to medications or disease. The condition can strike at any age. Most boys outgrow it, though breast reduction surgery is more and more of an option for those who don't. Breast reduction surgery is the fastest growing cosmetic surgery among men. In 2006, more than 20,000 patients underwent the procedure. In five years, that number is expected to double. A lot of people I've treated over the years, it's been just an absolute huge turnaround in their psyche and their socialization. Plastic surgeon Robert Buchanan of Highlands is among the nation's most experienced physicians treating gynecomastia. He says unlike a woman's breast reduction surgery, the procedure on a man is more complicated because the desired result is a sculpted chest. And the more that we talk about this, the less shame there is and the easier it is for people to deal with it and or accept it or do something about it. What Merle did was have the surgery as an adult, start an information website, and write a book about his experience hoping others could learn from it. In Asheville, Jay Siltzer, News 13.